It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm down my local McDonald's ordering the brand new McClamp burger and the chicken McSandwich. We're going to be taking it home and reviewing it after they've cooked it. Um, this is my local McDonald's, just having a quick spin about in here, quite quiet this morning. But um, what I wanted to say was, I've had a chat with these lovely people down here in McDonald's, and they've told me that the McClamps can be anything kind of ranging from a quarter pounder to a McChicken sandwich. So like the taste profile can go from, like in your mind, if you wanted to taste like a, a, quarter, a McDonald's quarter pounder, but, but vegan friendly, then you can. Or if you want it to taste like a McChicken sandwich in your mind, then you can make it in your mind feel like a McChicken sandwich. It depends where your mindset is. So I've gone for a versus battle because it generally comes white. I don't know, but generally kind of vegan burgers are generally white. So looks like a McChicken sandwich. I'm gonna do, be doing a versus battle uh, with the McChicken sandwich and the McClamp burger. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take this home hot, hot, nice and hot, get it reviewed on the channel. Right, so bringing these burgers home in the conservatory. Here's a look at them. So I think most of you know what the McChicken sandwich looks like, so I'm not gonna keep you any longer. We're gonna get straight into this, as always on the channel. Ooh! Right, okay. Now, I presumed, as I normally do on the channel, I've made a presumption on what this burger may have looked like. And I thought normally kind of vegan burgers in the past have been white. They've been made from corn and they're, and they're white burgers. So maybe but they did say in, to, in McDonald's that this, this burger should taste a little bit like the McChicken sandwich. So it's a bit of a hybrid burger that... It's supposed to taste a little bit like everything. So I've gone for a McChicken sandwich because I like McChicken sandwich. <laughs> there it is. So we got a beef tomato. Let's get this right up. Beef tomato. There looks to be like a bit of mustard in there. Uh, there's gherkin. There's a slice of vegan cheese. And then the patty itself, which I'm sure you're all really, really, really interested in. There it is there. So what I'm getting at the moment, what I'm, what I'm thinking at the moment with this, or McDonald's thinking is that, well, they piled it full of sauce and tomatoes and lettuce and what looks like mustard and gherkins to really, and this is my only presumption, or my own presumption is that they've done this to make the vegan burger taste quite nice with all the things going on. So let's dive in. Yeah, I'm tasting, I'm tasting gherkin. I'm tasting tomato. I think it's not mustard, I think it's that pick a lily stuff. Lettuce. Bit of the cheese. Nice soft bread roll. I'm surprised they didn't put some of that kind of vegan bacon in there, but it looks terrible. Vegan bacon looks blooming terrible, doesn't it? I think, I think the real taste test is to grab hold of some of this burger on its own. There you go, that's what it looks like. And eat it. Eat it on his own. Let's let's pull it apart a bit. Let's just show you what this looks like. Yeah, I mean, 
It's improved massively. Over the years, vegan food has improved absolutely massively. When I first started eating vegan food, it was basically cardboard. And, and it, was, it was awful stuff over, over, over a few years ago. They've made a real, real effort to really improve the flavour, the texture, the feeling, the moisture of the, of, of the burger. But if you ask me to describe the flavour of the burger patty on its own, The texture is lovely. The texture is really, really lovely. I quite like that. They've made a real good effort with that. But yeah, there's not much flavour on its own. So the trick is, well, I can't fault McDonald's for this. The trick is to pack it full of tomato, an onion, and lettuce, and, and, and get the flavour that way. And the pickle lily and the, and the vegan mayo. I think if I had a choice, I think if I if I if I had a choice and I was going to review this burger again, I probably wouldn't have presumed presumed, and I probably would have bought a quarter pounder. I think that would have been a much better kind of gauge versus battle, if you like. Is it ever going to replace beef? Is it ever going to replace a McDonald's quarter pounder in terms of juicy beef? I, I don't think so. On, on a personal level, on a personal level, I don't think so. I think, I think they've done a grand job. I think they've, 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 there's a big enough market now for, for vegan food in the UK that McDonald's have their own burger. But if you were to ask me to choose between this and a McChicken sandwich or a Quarter pounder? Mm, yeah, I think I would go. I think I'd go quarter pounder and McChicken sandwich. On that note, let's get into the McChicken sandwich. I mean, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish that burger. It's a. Uh, it's not. It's not a bad burger. It really isn't a bad burger. So here we go then. I'll just have a couple of quick bites of this. You all know what a chicken sandwich tastes like, but here we go then. Yeah. So the difference with real meat is you taste the lettuce. You taste the mayo, but you're also getting a big, big taste of that juicy, succulent chicken breast. That's the real difference for me. So, to conclude then, Vegan food is coming on leaps and bounds. Really enjoyed the McPlant burger. Really tasty. Love the combination of the tomatoes and the pickle lily sauce and the vegan mayo and the cheese and the patty and the lettuce. And it was just bursting with flavour. It really was. They did, really, they did a really good job. But for me, there's still no reason for me to, to jump and be a like a 100% vegan. I do eat a lot of vegan food, but I, I enjoy my chicken and my beef too much, and certainly my bacon, too much to, 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 to become a 100% vegan eating person. Um, but mega job, mega job by McDonald's. They've done a really good job here. I like that McClamp burger. It's really good. I suggest you go out and try it. It's an eight out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer for the McPlant. Interesting concept that it, they, they try to make it so it ranges from tasting a little bit like a chicken sandwich or a quarter pounder. Um, interesting concept there. 
Uh, it was nice to chat to the guys down at McDonald's about that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.